What's good, y'all? This Polo TV. You know what I'm saying? We out here. This is a no cap, no fraud channel, no clickbait channel. We here with the real deal. We gonna let y'all know what's going on. Today we talking about Cowboy, aka Big Thundercat, Nipsey, Big Homeboy, his relation to Nipsey, and the conspiracy theories that's out there on the internet with people talking about he has something to do with Nipsey's death. So we just gonna break it down from beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? Cowboy said he met Nipsey 03. If you go back to 03, say Nipsey was selling CDs on corners, I'm Slauson. In Crenshaw, he met him. If you go back and do the math, that's 16 years. And if he died at 33, that means he's about 16, 17. If you know 16, 17, teenagers were really impressionable. That's the age around the age 15, 16, 17. They're joining gangs. So, you know, Nipsey probably just came on in the set. Um, um, see, Cowboy was known as Ken Little Kev Mac back then. You know what I'm saying? His big homie, Big Kev Mac. Kev Mac got a channel on YouTube where he break down the origin of the Bloods and the Crips, the prison politics and all that. But anyway, that's Cowboy's big homie, Big Kev Mac. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is Lil Kev Mac. So, he started out as Lil Kev Mac. Eventually, he became Thundercat. He sees Nipsey. He, it's, like, it's like a bunch of it's 10 guys, younger guys, and that, that's Crips too. He's an older Crip. He's about, you know, let's say he's 5, 10 years older than younger versions of him. You know what I'm saying? They're all in the same gang, though. You know what I'm saying? He sees Nipsey, gets a liking to Nipsey. He becomes... He wants Nipsey to become Little Thundercat. You know what I'm saying? So little, now Nipsey's Little Thundercat has Big Thundercat. So which means they're like more brothers within the set. You know, that's, that's, that's like his big brother in the set. You know what I'm saying? All the big homies is your big brother. But that's like your main big brother. Same, y'all got the same gang name. Y'all carrying on the same tradition, pushing the same line. You know? So now, years later, the the the, 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 the politics and the, the angles of the relationship changed. Now Nipsey's on top. Nipsey could provide a job. Nipsey could look out for him, give him some money, take him around the world, which is a testament to the, 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 the loyalty and the respect that Big Thundercat gave Nipsey growing up, showing him the way, being his big homeboy. Now Nipsey's in a position to return the favor, so you could say. So you got to think, why would Cowboy, if his younger homie, who carrying on a namesake, has the same namesake he got within the gang, putting on for the gang, putting on for the neighborhood, why would he have him touched, him killed? Over what? A misunderstanding, a disagreement, an argument they had? Never heard that. Some money? Everybody knows Nipsey was looking out for everybody. He wasn't a super multi-millionaire. He, you know, two to five million dollars. That's He can't take care of everybody. But he's about building businesses, buying buildings, giving jobs out. You understand what I'm saying? There's no need for him to do that. Cowboy's getting taken around the world. He got a job. He's driving his cars. He's in the studio whenever he wants. Why would he do that? There's no reason for him to have, have Nipsey killed. See, I got to understand that when you're out there throwing these, you know, scenarios out there, you know, putting this bad energy into the world, putting these conspiracy theories, these made-up stories, you don't know who life you could be affected with that. Especially when they're not true. You're just making things up or reading something and trying to put something together. You know what I'm saying? Here at Poe Road TV, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get the real story, talk to the real people, and, you know what I'm saying, find out what's really going on. So all y'all saying Cowboy and Big U had son to do with Nipsey's death, I need to calm down with that, man. Yeah, Nipsey and, and, and Big U had a situation back in the day with Big U, you know what I'm saying, helped out Nipsey get started. He wanted to manage him. Nipsey ain't want to manage him, get, be managed by him no more and pay bread. They had an argument, a little fight. Black Sam came out, pulled the gun, shot in the air, police shot at black. Everybody knows that whole story contained the Big U. But after that, Nipsey had Big U on the road. During the victory lap and had him out in New York and everything. So obviously that was all squashed, all good. Friends and family, especially in gang culture, fight all the time. So for y'all to say that he has something to do with that or for a little disagreement or a fight, y'all need to get it together, man. Y'all know who lives y'all messing with when y'all do this stuff. And y'all really need to um just calm down with that, man, because y'all could be fecking somebody's life up or relationships up that Y'all don't even nowhere near there. You know what I'm saying? That, that That's a real life, a real relationship going on. And y'all 3,000 miles away just, oh, we love Nipsey so much that so we're going to throw some... They, those people are really dealing with that every day. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey, I, after two weeks, three weeks, a year where everybody calmed down and not so much Nipsey out, they still got to deal with it every day. Birthday's coming up. Who knows even we'll be able to keep the store open. You understand what I'm saying? No more shows. No more studio. No more parties. So, you know what I'm saying? Think about that, man. Poro TV, man. We out of here, man. No cap channel. All fact channel. Subscribe and like the video. We out. One.